That's every game on sale right now. Oh, look, they got Okage all the way on the bottom of the list. I wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that it doesn't work on PS5. Maybe they've updated it. I should try again and see. Nah, it still says this game may exhibit errors or unexpected behavior. What a shame. Yeah, it's all glitched out on PS5. I could show you. Also, warning, this might be a little loud, I don't know. Yeah, see, the warning just popped up. It says you might experience unexpected behavior while playing this game. This is one of the first things I tested when I got my PS5. I booted this up right away. And sadly, it's uh, it's pretty bad. It's really glitchy. Wake up the lurkers. God damn. I warned you. Turn it down for you guys. It's really loud for me right now. God fucking Christ, that is loud. Oh, uh, look, see, here's the menu. Look how glitched it is already. God, like, how does this happen? How do they... Yeah, just so you know, that title screen is not supposed to look like that. Everything's all fine and dandy here, right? But just she wait. As you will see. As you will see, this game this is busted on PS5. Ordinary conversation of an ordinary family. And with the inconspicuous boy who appeared behind his little sister. Unexpected as it may be, this unassuming Which is a shame because I wish more people can play this game. This peculiar tale we are about to see. Everything looks, you know, pretty okay. Except the mother looks like she's got, like, something going on with her eye there. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. No, the mother is totally not supposed to be missing half of her face. I mean, really, when it comes down to the speedrun, if, if the PS5 had really crazy loading times, you might have to endure it. Oh my god, look at the house. You can see all the weird-ass, like, colored lines, like the wireframe. I never noticed that before. Alright, but now you're really gonna see why you can't play this on PS5. Holy fuck, I have this turned down and it's... Turn it down for you guys even more. This is so loud, I can't... I have to take my headphones off, that is ridiculous. Once upon a time, I used to speedrun this game, if you didn't know. So if you want to watch my speedrun, it is... Not sure. No, I don't know if I ever put it on YouTube, but it's on speedrun.com. So to speedrun this game, you actually have to run with the camera like this the whole times, because it doesn't spawn ghosts. But as you can see, there's like weird glitches happening everywhere, like flashing on the screen. See? All these visual glitches, that is not supposed to happen. This is on PS4 and it works fine. You can buy the PS4 version and it works just fine. But if you're playing on PS5, this is what it looks like. Right, like you see all these weird color, like look at the steps here, that is not supposed to look like that. You can see the lines in the level, like look at the building here. 
It's very unfortunate. Because the loading seems really good. Like, the game definitely doesn't load that fast on a PS2, or even the PS4 version, I think, is a little slower than that. I mean, I would play the PS5 version if it saves a lot of time, but I just think from a, a viewer's perspective, I don't think you'd want to be watching a game that is constantly, like, having visual glitches like this. I don't even remember where to go in this game. Can't even remember. Look at that. Ugh. That screen tearing. I was gonna try and get into a battle. I don't remember how. I think I had to talk to this guy. Uh, or no, her, yeah. Maybe not. Everybody's like missing parts of their clothes and face. Go get bread from the bakery. There we go. You got a better memory than I do. I mean, if I ever really, really got back into speedrunning this, I, I would play the PS5 version once, just to see how the, the times compare. <laughs> Look how it's tripping out. I've actually never made it this far in the PS5 version yet. I'm, like, really curious to see what happens in a battle. If I can, like, put up with getting to that part. Let's try it. I want to see if it's super glitched. I mean, the game could just straight up crash. I don't know. It could just crash midway through the game. I mean, you don't know. It's a decent... I actually really like the speedrun for this game. The only thing I don't like about it that prevents me from wanting to play it more is the whole, like, you gotta run with the camera facing behind you thing. This is how you have to pretty much play the whole speedrun, looking backwards. And uh, it makes it a not-so-relaxed speedrun. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this is crazy. I might have to actually play this on PS5 sometime. <laughs> the trees are just flat textures. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is way more fucked up than I thought originally. I gotta go to the moon. I don't remember what the fuck to do here.
I remember going to town and fighting a goat. The first encounter in this game is in the basement. Oh, okay, maybe we just need this cutscene. Imagine if I played this on PS5 and set the world record speedrun on PS5 and then people would go on YouTube and be like, let's watch the world record for Okage, and then they're like, what the heck? What is with these graphics? I just gotta see what a fight looks like, that's all I wanna see. This guy's missing a face. Ari is missing his arms. He's going Rayman. Be funny if they accept my run. Well, luck would have it that I'm actually a moderator for Okage, so I'd accept my run. There's a lot of talking and mashing at the start of this game. In case you can't tell. Speaking of RPG speedruns, I would have done more Pokemon today, but I, I actually want to reformat my notes. Like, I'm getting to the point now that I've done two runs, I can trim out a lot of the fat. Oh, I can't wait to see what Stan looks like. Maybe Stan is all glitched out. But I want to trim up my guide so that I can, um, my notes. So I can pretty much just get it down to certain bullet points for navigation and menuing. Like shops, and also what moves to use in battle. Because I have a lot of fluff in there right now that I can trim out to make my notes easier to read. Not sure when I'll be getting back to Pokemon, though, is the thing. This whole SMT5 thing really screwed me up. Because I would have potentially done Pokemon on Monday or Tuesday, but now I'll probably want to do SMT. I wonder if Stan is just going to be invisible. With, like, just his eyes or something. Or maybe he'll look normal. Or maybe he's, like, flashing. I don't know, we'll see. Feels like I'm speedrunning all over again. If I do come back to this, though, I might actually do the Japanese PS2 version. Because it, it makes boss battles... Um, bosses have half health. So it makes the game significantly more consistent, because boss battles have a very high... Certain boss battles have a very high chance of just ending your run. So we're about to get possessed. Despite the blessings of this battle. See this this game is one of the reasons why I will always have to keep my PS4. I have to keep my PS4 for PT. For Okage. And I think that's about it. But this, this game in particular is the reason why I can never get rid of it. Especially because if I ever go back to speedrunning the PS4 version, I have to have it. Well, Stan looks pretty normal. Surprisingly. His sister's shadow is normally pink as well. This version really wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't for the, the screen tearing. I can put up with trees that look like they're made out of paper. That's actually kind of funny. Oh god, now it's a huge cutscene when we leave the house? Or no? Or is this where I go fight?
Stan's just missing some of the black around his face, depending on his emotion. Yeah, this would be very doable on PS5, if it wasn't for the fact that the game is constantly, like, doing what it's doing back there. Oh, I would hope that the game gets more and more glitchy as you go on. Look, the trees are kind of back to normal, except this time they're, they're sprinkled with snow. And my map is halfway empty, like it's missing the background. Oh, is this where I gotta talk to all the stupid kids? I don't remember who I got to talk to. Oh, I have to talk to everybody. I don't remember talking to these people, but maybe I have to. It takes a bit to get into the first fight in this game. That should be it. I mean, the important thing is the music and the sound effects are not glitched out. That would be unplayable. I wouldn't be able to put up with that. Sony patch these games. My, my assumption is they don't know what's specifically causing it, and they, they just know that not enough people will own a PS5 that will care to play Okage to bother fixing it. I don't remember who I gotta talk to here to advance this guy? Yeah, I, that's right, this guy. I remember doing something with this shark mouth guy, because I remember him being in my notes. I described him as shark mouth guy. And now we can go to the church and see what a battle looks like. What? I thought that was the church.
You could see through the door. Makes me wonder if the PS5 version might have exclusive glitches that you can't do on other versions. That would make it a really interesting run. Like crazy item duplication. Alright, here we go. Let's see if the battles are glitched. If the battles aren't glitched, then I can see one day maybe doing a run on the PS5. I mean, right now it's mostly just funny textures and stuff. So if it really saves a lot with loading. Okay, the floor texture is a little messed up. Font and everything seems okay to read. The menus are also pretty normal so far. Also Akage battle music. This is a great game, by the way, for those of you that have a PS4. I would suggest buying this while it's on sale. If you're looking for just a nice turn-based RPG that you can beat in a few days. Yeah, I almost got busted up by this ghost. I love how Stan refers to Ari as his slave. It's a funny game. Honestly, certain parts of this don't look too bad. I was I was kind of hoping it would be like super glitched out like those trees more. I mean, it, it probably is to be honest. Once you get out of here. Oh god. I don't remember how long it takes to get outside to the world map. I think it lets me go right from here. I need to see what the world map looks like. That'll be the true test. Like when you're out in areas that you can explore and get random encounters. That's that's where I'll get to and then we'll see. That'll be the true test. It might be totally messed up. Thus, Canal Village was filled with joy and the new Ratchet and Clank game looks absolutely disgustingly good, by the way. I don't agree with that looking like a PS4 game. That's one of the best looking games I've ever seen. If you see it in action, in 4K, it's different than seeing it over a screen. I don't think the new Ratchet and Clank could run on a PS4 Pro, no. No, it would, it would have... The, the amount of fucking particles and shit happening in that game is too intense. Bar. They're, they're, I mean, maybe they can get it running on a PS4 Pro if they're willing to sacrifice frame rate. But that game running at 60 frames looks absolutely crazy on PS5.
I mean, I wouldn't lie about the visuals of Ratchet and Clank. When I played that game, I was just like absolutely blown away by how good it looks. That game felt next gen, 100%. Get out of here now and go to the world map, please. Our hero simply stood there dumbstruck. And the next morning... Yeah, yeah, give me my farewell party. Forget how long-winded this game's intro is. I don't know, though. That, that Ratchet & Clank game is seriously on another level. I don't think just reducing the frame rate will make that game work fine and dandy. Like, you forget how many particles and effects are happening in that game all at one time. That would, like, seriously bring that game to a halt on PS4 Pro, I feel. There's, there's a ton of shit going on in that game constantly. I mean, it looks like you're playing a Pixar movie. It really does. Who do I have to say goodbye to? Oh, God, you gotta say goodbye to everybody in your family. Imagine if you had to do this in every RPG. Gotta go up and say goodbye to everybody. Before you go out on your journey to save the world. We're almost there, though. We're almost to the world map. I just, I have to see if they... What it looks like on PS5. I don't... I mean, obviously right now is not the best time to make only PS5 exclusives, because PS5s are still stupid hard to get a hold of. There'd just be no money. I mean, look at what happened to Destruction All-Stars. That game was amazing, and the only reason it failed is because nobody had a PS5. I mean, I can't imagine how dead Destruction All-Stars is now. Damn, I missed that game. That was so much fun. I mean, it is also possible that most of the PS5s that have quote, unquote, sold are still sitting in scalpers' hands. I would assume that, like, probably something between 30 and 40% of them are just sitting in people that hoarded them and sitting on them trying to sell them still. Alright, finally, let's see what happens when we leave here. I'm sure Destruction All-Stars is, like, really dead. I wouldn't even doubt it if there's no one playing it anymore. Okay, so we see some visual glitches in the background. I just want to see what it looks like after this battle when random encounters can start appearing. Honestly, this doesn't look too... too terrible. I mean, it would be tolerable for one speedrunner, too have to put up with the bullshit visuals. I think it's kind of funny how people's, like, the characters' faces and arms are missing sometimes.
They added AI to Destruction All-Stars, so they're probably putting them in with AI characters. Alright, let's see. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's some heavy... Heavy glitching in the background, but the, the way the camera in this game works is, you most likely won't even see that. Most of the time it doesn't even let you look forward. Now, if you want to not spawn ghosts in this game, here's a trick for any of you that play it. Run like this. If you run like this with running towards the camera, ghosts will not spawn in front of you. And that's how the speedrun looks. It's pretty hard to do, though, because the game obviously doesn't want you running like that, so it's constantly fighting you. Hey, look, the onions are missing parts of their head. So in a normal speedrun, you never fight any enemies in this like this. You only... This is essentially a glorified boss rush game. The only thing that you fight in this game are pots in dungeons. You run from everything else. So you never take these normal encounters. I'd almost be interested in attempting a casual playthrough of this again before I do speedruns of it. It would also let me warm up to the layout of the game again. And also appreciate it a bit more with enemies. One of these days. Maybe I'll do that before I start speedrunning it again. Get reacquainted with the story. Get reacquainted with the locations. Mechanics. Casual playthrough of this is about 15 to 20 hours. For me, it would probably be closer to 15 hours. Um... But for most people, it'll be about 20-ish. It's not a very long game. Now, the developers of this were kind of like a one-off developer. This is one of the only games they pretty much made that came to the US. I don't, I don't even remember what they're called, but they... This is like their one-hit wonder, essentially. Which is a shame, because I would have loved to have seen where they would have went. If I remember right, this is like their only turn-based RPG. So yeah, the visual glitches are bad, but I'll have to time it one day and see if uh, if the loading is improved a lot. I don't remember where you save here. I think you, you save in the inn in town, but I, I won't save it. Alright, that's, uh, that's gonna do it for me. I'm pretty tired. Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh... Oh, wait a minute, look at the battle menu! Oh my god, I spoke too soon, the battle menu is invisible! Oh, Christ. Could you imagine if I was in the middle of a speedrun and suddenly I had to deal with an invisible battle menu? What the hell? Maybe that would make the PS5 version of this really fascinating. I'd have to, like, use muscle memory on locations of spells and shit. Because I can't see what I'm selecting, practically. See, this is why I wanted to get to battles in this game, because I, I actually was thinking to myself, I wouldn't even doubt it if battle menus were invisible. Makes me wonder what else. Like, maybe I'll get to a dungeon and you can see through the walls or something. Interesting. Probably one more encounter. And now the battle menu's back. I guess sometimes you just get an invisible battle menu. I'm sure it would get really bad if it was a shop menu that was invisible. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let, let's just get to the next town. I just want to see. What the next town looks like. If there's any weird glitches. I don't think it's that far. Oh god, my map is screwed up. I can't see any of the indicators on where the next objective is. Luckily, I know it's over this way. Man, the PS5 version of this is like, um... It's almost like a randomizer in terms of, like, when it decides to make something invisible. 
So now my map has no indicators. Kissling is one weird ass character. His teeth are green. Tell you, this is the last game I would expect myself to be playing tonight. You can actually see the seams in the floor that, like, have enemies line up in the battlefield. You can see the inner workings of, like, the placement of the battles. This game has some of the most over-the-top... Oh, look! Trees are red! My camera's all fucked up. What the hell? Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Wait, can I actually not advance? Hold on, I think my camera is hung up on a corner. Oh my god. Excuse me? Thank you? Wow, that was weird. I wonder if that can happen in the PS4 version. Okay, this menu looks fine. Indicators are back. And playing this again does make me want to speedrun it, though, not gonna lie. Alright, let's see what this looks like. See, I was expecting the steam to be maybe glitched out. Also, the game forces the camera down like this. So there's definitely some weird effects going on with the steam as it crosses the floor. Uh, very screen Terry area. But this is also where we reach our first save in a while. No, this is, this is running on a PS5. This is one of the PS5 games that is... Um, they warn you before you play it that you might experience problems playing it on a PS5. So this is the, the product of it, what happens when you play on a PS5. Damn, it took me 37 minutes to get here. Holy shit. Time flies with Okage, apparently. Here I'm like, yeah, let's just quickly, let's just quickly show people for five minutes why you don't want to play this on PS5. And here we are, 40 minutes later. Anyway. Well, they put that warning to pretty much let you know, like, hey, yeah, we're probably never fixing this. Was this on GameCube? This is a PS2 exclusive. North American PS2 exclusive. And Japan. Didn't get a PAL release. But it, it's available on PS4, though. Digitally. Alright, that's gonna